Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to talk about a pattern that I did years ago, decided to start weaving it again. It's a little hard to see here because it's white on white, but it really looks very elegant once it's off the loom and washed. And I'll show you that later on. What we're doing today is we're going to take a look at huck lace or a huck pattern. Now this happens to be an eight shaft loom. What I did prior to sitting down here was to thread the loom in blocks or groups. And as you can see, I have an even and an odd, even, odd, even. And then we switch back to an odd and an even. And these blocks make up this very, very pretty pattern. At the edges, I did one, two, one, two because I wanted it to be a tabby or a plain weave. Now, these are groups, so when I'm weaving, you will see either two threads going over top, vertically, or horizontally. So let's take a look at the drawing that I did. This is, you can see, the vertical. There'd be two threads, actually, because it's a group, and then this direction be to the other direction. So this is the pattern that I happen to have this loom tied up with, and here's the treadling. It's something you can find in many different magazines and books. I will reference the books that and magazines that I'm using once I'm finished here. And as you can see, which every group there is again, a tabby or a two or a one, and then over here is odd and even. What happens is you actually treadle this, one of the tabby, one of this, you go back to the tabby, and then you switch over to this one and you go back and forth. So I'm gonna do a little demonstration of weaving this particular huck lace pattern, show you what it's like. It's kind of hard again to see what's going on, but we'll do the best that we can and I'll talk a little bit as we go. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna make sure first of all that I'm starting on the right treadle here. So if I press this, you can already see that we're gonna have some vertical threads here. And so I'm going to start with throwing the shuttle across beating it. Now I need to pick a tabby and in this case I'm picking the even because the other one was an odd. I'm going to go back and forth and I'm going to do that same group again and you can see the spaces there and then I'm going back again. Now this time the pattern suggests that I go to the odd. So I'm going to do one shot across with the odd and now we're going to move on up to the next group. And again, you can see the pattern that's happening. Now I'm going to the other tabby. Next group, again, you can see the threads as they are lifted. And I am using my jack loom shows this very nicely. I'm going to go back to another tabby. I'm going to do half the pattern. And they suggest that you not beat too hard. You want it to look a little like lace. The yarn that I'm using is an 8-2 cotton. And I have one more to do before I reverse the pattern. actual pattern so you can see it. Well, you can see it fairly well from this distance, but if I zero in on it, you can get a little better look, perhaps. And you can see how some of the threads are going vertically and some are going horizontally to make this nice, pretty diamond pattern. As I said, this is only one of the tie-ups. I can go underneath the loom, switch things around, and get another weave structure. And I'll show that in another section or another uh, video. So I just wanted you to see what's happening on this one. Again, you coming back, you can kind of 
see underneath what's going on too. It's kind of a fun pattern to do. So thank you so much for checking this one out and give it a try. All right, so you might have watched the other video showing me weaving and explaining what huck lace is. It's, it's basically groups of threads that form blocks and form patterns. Normally it's woven or suggested, recommended, I guess you might say traditionally, is that they suggest that you weave with a warp and a weft of either the same color or maybe just one shade off to show it off. It was very difficult maybe to see the pattern forming, so I decided now to use a charcoal color. I've already done one pattern, and you can see the horizontal and the vertical, the warp and the weft. I'm going to continue with this particular pattern so you can see how it forms. And here's where I switch to the other tabby. And I'm going to move on up to the next treadle. can see the vertical and the horizontal and I'm on the last shot I'm going to go ahead and go do my other tabby so you can really see how that's happening I can zero in a little bit on it there you go you can actually see how the threads are crossing over in sections and groups